All right, now that I'm a little cooler, a little more calm about the situation, I thought about it and have been thinking about it, looked at some different things on it in regards to Melvin Gordon, and wanted to just provide a little update on one of the, or a couple of possible different reasons why the Ravens brought him in. Um, now, first, before we get into it, I appreciate y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. As you saw yesterday, things have picked up in a major way. Make sure you subscribe, turn your notifications on, so when we drop a video, you'll be alerted. Leave a like on the video. You can follow on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. It's Engraving Vids if you want to, but know that I appreciate y'all. Thank you uh, for dealing with seeing this face and hearing this annoying voice a lot extra yesterday. I know some of y'all are like, I can't take another video. I ain't watching, but for the people that did... I appreciate it. And for the people that needed a break, I still appreciate you because I get it. Anyway, um, when the Ravens signed Melvin Gordon yesterday, it was announced that they signed Melvin Gordon yesterday. It came out of nowhere, came out the blue. Uh, we had not heard anything about the Ravens being interested in one Melvin Gordon, um, but we remember before when they were interested in him, but nothing came to fruition from that. But now they actually signed him. He is a Baltimore Raven. We don't have all the details on the contract yet. Like I kept saying yesterday, I'm sure it'll, it'll be incentive-based. But we'll see. It's a one-year deal worth up to $3.1 million. It's not $3.1 million guaranteed, but it's a one-year deal worth up to $3.1 million. And I think when you construct a deal like that, even if it's incentive heavy, it sounds like there is a bit of promise uh, in that deal. Now, uh, initially, when it first came out that the Ravens signed Melvin Gordon, I was like, whoa. Because, uh, of course, we had been hearing about all this stuff with J.K. Dobbins and the possible hold in that he had and that he's been unhappy with the contract and whatnot. And, of course, everything that J.K. Dobbins had been tweeting out for the past couple of weeks and whatnot. And then all the retweets from the other day. And we get it. We get it. These are their, this is their job. NFL is their job. Like, I know a lot of fans will get mad and angry with players uh, when they have these contract disputes, when they have these contract negotiations and things can get a little ugly. But you got to remember, as a fan, this is their income. It's a business. It's a business. So however you feel about, I know we feel all old, old certain ways about our favorite team and whatnot. And it's like, oh, we want our team to be the best. We want our team to win. We want every single player to show up at every single practice and camp and all that stuff. But we got to remember, too that this is their money. So they trying to get their money right. So always try to keep that in mind when you're thinking about whichever player it may be. But with J.K. Dobbins, um, I know the first thing that crossed my mind when the Ravens signed Melvin Gordon, I said, oh, uh-oh, is uh, somebody about to be traded? Because we know J.K. Dobbins ain't, ain't, ain't seem the happiest. We don't know for sure, for sure, but it doesn't seem like he's the happiest right now. So I think, oh, could he be traded? And then another thought that came to mind is, oh, could Gus Edwards maybe not be as far along as they want him to be. And those are the two things that came to my mind first. So then, after a little bit, still in that same video, I was wondering, oh, you know what? Or maybe there will be an announcement of somebody maybe being a little hurt, more hurt than we thought they were. Maybe somebody had another off-season surgery, maybe a little cleanup surgery or something like that. But then it came out later on that the Ravens, they placed uh, J.K. Dobbins on the physically unable to perform list. He was going to be starting camp on the pup list. So like, OK, we kind of got our question answered when it came to that. But then Josina Anderson, uh, she said, uh, my understanding is running backs J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards are currently expected to be full speed. The signing of Melvin Gordon is just to add another talented player to the roster. So, um, I guess when, whenever that full speed happens, because obviously for J.K. Dobbins to be placed on a pup list, he ain't full speed yet. So, hopefully he'll get there sooner rather than later. Uh, but if he's starting off on the pup list, then he ain't full speed yet. And I do appreciate and I will always appreciate the Ravens taking extra precaution because we know in past years there hasn't been that extra precaution. But I think just all the injuries scarred them and now they got rid of their head strength and conditioning coach, Steve Saunders, who I, I did see him. I saw him... Um, at BWI, last time we were up there, on the way back, I, I saw him at the airport. He was, uh, I think he was like having lunch or something with his, maybe it was his son, I don't know who it was. But anyway, um, the Ravens are moving in a different direction. And they have seemed to be in the last couple of years when it comes to just really slowing down. Well, really last year and this year, when it comes to slowing down on rushing people back. Uh, so hopefully that will be the case. But then uh, Jeff Zrebik, he also chimed in. Uh, and I appreciated what he had to say as well. He said it. Uh, regardless of the condition of Edwards' knee or J.K. Dobbins' contract situation, it made sense to bring in a vet running back. Edwards and Dobbins have missed 51 games over the past two seasons. So I'm sure he's combining their games together. Um, but 
They've missed 51 games over the past two seasons. During that span, Ravens have had 11 different running backs get carries. Gordon essentially is this year's Mike Davis. So when he put it like that, I was like, oh, okay. Well, that makes it make more sense. Uh, that makes it make sense. Um, and so I was like, okay, yeah, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Uh, and with that being said, okay, they bring in a vet. Because, yeah, hey, your, your top two guys, they've been hurt. They done missed their time. Uh, especially J.K. Dobbins last year, he was in and out. Gus Edwards, he was in and out last year, too. So I get it. So uh, it makes sense. Now, um, there is the fumbling issue. There is that. Uh, so that's a little bit of a concern. But one thing about Melvin Gordon, overall, when he gets his opportunities, normally he produces. He's a productive running back. Now, we want the fumbles to go bye-bye. And we know, again, like every coach hates fumbles, obviously. But like Harbaugh, when it comes to fumbles, he got a – he detests – fumbles he like really like hates them with a passion it's on another level man so that's why this one was really a head scratcher for me but anyway uh when you look at his numbers over the years uh he's been very uh productive his rookie year with the chargers uh 184 rushes for 641 yards he's a rookie yeah only averaged 3.5 yards a carry 2016 the following year uh he had 997 yards and 10 touchdowns the following year after that he had 1100 yards and eight touchdowns the following year after that he had 885 yards and 10 touchdowns the year after that he had 612 yards so yards went down but touchdowns was at eight the year after that he had 986 yards and nine touchdowns the year after that he had 918 yards and eight touchdowns so when he gets the opportunity he be getting to the end zone he be producing uh, but then last year a little, looked like a little anomaly yeah he had 318 yards and two touchdowns but it was only 90 carries so he didn't get much of many carries at all um so with melvin gordon you're getting somebody that um again if they get the opportunities they can produce they can produce and, and who knows exactly how this contract is going to be uh structured uh, who knows what the incentives are going to be, whether it's going to be carries, whether it's going to be uh, playtime percentage, whether it's going to whatever it may. We don't know what it's going to be yet. Uh, we'll see that over the next mm, today, Saturday. So we'll see that definitely by Monday at the latest. Um, yeah, it should be by Monday at the latest, maybe by Tuesday, but or definitely by Tuesday. But I think Monday we should have the contract details. So we'll see how that's structured. But I just wanted to because I know y'all y'all know yesterday. When we came on here, when Melvin Gordon first got signed out, I was like, whoa, this is crazy. Wait, 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 what's going on? And now, granted, there still could be something going on. Because I know my guy Nitra broke it down, too. And, and shout out to Nitra. Welcome back to the channel. I ain't seen you in a little minute. But I hope everything is good. But I know he had uh, broke it down where he was talking about how he feels like the, the, them putting J.K. Dobbins on a pup list. That could be sort of like a, almost a cover up almost. So we'll see. We'll see. We won't know officially till we know officially. But um, with Josie Anderson talking about the running back should be full go, uh, Jeff Zriga, Jeff Zriga, excuse me, bringing up that uh, this is just it's nice to have another veteran, especially with them having missed time over the past couple of years. Uh, so okay, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. But I just wanted to let y'all know what we thought about from uh, well, not what we thought about, but what we gathered from. What they were saying, J and J, Josina and Jeff. So shout out to the both of them. And shout out to all of y'all too, because y'all chimed in in the comment section too, because I did see a lot of y'all saying pretty much the same thing. Uh, with J.K. Dobbins having missed a lot of time, Gus Edwards having missed some time too, that it's just, it, it makes sense to bring in somebody at running back. Now, a lot of people talking about, oh, why not Dalvin Cook? But when you see what's going on, what's allegedly going on with Dalvin Cook, then it's like, ooh, okay, well, yeah, no. Um, but. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what goes down. Oh, one thing, too, I wanted to say before I get out of here. I really appreciate all y'all's comments. I appreciate y'all in the comment section. I appreciate y'all leaving a like on the video. I appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I appreciate all of that stuff, especially with the comment section, because I can't always reply to every single comment. I would love to. I would love to if we could. That would be great, but I just, I can't. Uh, it's impossible, especially days like yesterday when stuff is just back to 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 back. It's like right when we want to reply to every single comment, boom, something else comes up, boom, something else comes up. But we do read them. I want you to want y'all to know we do read them all. We can't always reply to them all. We would love to, but we we do read them. 
Uh, so I, I appreciate all y'all's input. I appreciate all you all's engagement. I appreciate the way that you all really support the channel and engage with the channel and have fun on here. Thank you so much for real. So until whatever's next, until what goes down next, until whatever happens next, I see y'all when I see y'all. I love y'all so much and we out.